Alright guys, so um, in this video I'm going to show you some of the tricks uh, in using Config UI and uh, I, I know it might seem like a really easy thing for you but uh, some guys may need it uh, so I think maybe, maybe I will just make a very short video to solve this problem so uh, and uh, by the way if you hear me sound like weirdly uh, I'm using uh, my my airport for <laughs> For this recording because I'm in a bit of a noisy environment so sorry about that in your advance so yeah so what I'm going to show you is that um, how to make your nodes uh, more organized so right now uh, as you can see this is like a like a default now well, let's start from scratch okay so we can uh, let's just clear everything okay and uh, we can uh, sort of uh, go to the uh, the default okay low default and um, voila, we got this like a really default workflow. We got a load, uh, and we got a prompt. We got a case sampler. We get latent image, and we got VAE decode, and we got a safe image. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong about that. But but uh, what I'm going to show you is that you can actually put everything inside of a group that uh, you can make multiple groups to uh, to compare things. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to first. Uh, is to make this default a template. So how to do that? So for example, uh, not necessarily is a default a workflow. Maybe this a workflow that I want to test, uh, but uh, you want to just fine tuning some part of the node, but you don't want you know um, start from scratch. So what I gotta do? Uh, I'm going to use this default as an example. So first is multi selection. If you want to select multiple things, you need to. Um, select one thing and uh, holding shift select holding shift select you have to hold your shift all the time okay if you want to like um do not break the selection if right now i'm breaking the select uh, uh i'm breaking the selection by not holding shift i select it here you will break the uh like like batch selection okay and uh, i'm holding shift right now click 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 so i'm selecting everything okay and right now, if you um uh your pointer is inside of selection and right click, you can of course add nodes, add nodes. We're going to get all full of thing. But if you like move outside here to some like blank um, dark area, right click, you can um you can um save select it as template. Okay, you select it, and I'm going to say this will be uh say some uh, testing um. Uh, node uh, group template something like that yeah so what I'm gonna do is to uh, click OK okay and then it's uh, correctly saved and what I'm gonna do is to move down a little bit and what I'm gonna do is right click and you can find a node template here uh, I already uh, create a test node template and there's a test node group here then click manage and you can of course delete or export the uh, default uh, um, template doesn't really matter okay of course you can import as a template that's that's really convenient but right now what I'm going to do is to just use the test node group template that we already created just now and voila we got like a two identical uh, default template okay so of course you can you can you can use that multiple times. You can you know move down, right click, and template. Right, you can just uh, you know use this as a template. That's really convenient. And then what I'm going to do is to select all of this because right now you guys can see that uh, all this uh, is not at the same like the starting um, vertical line. Okay, so it's um, uh, yeah a little bit weird. So what I'm going to do is to select every node here so you might think that you need to you know just uh, click and select and then you will just move okay if you click uh, the uh, mouse the primary uh, uh, button of the mouse and you want to click and drag like a box select it won't do so uh, you just move all the canvas so what I'm gonna do really really simple I'm using a Mac right now so I have uh, like a touch uh, touch pad something like that uh, so I don't actually use a mouse but I'm trying to like explain uh, what you can do with a mouse okay so um, the, um, the the trick here is to hold the control okay if you're holding control and you can click and drag and you can select everything okay 
So once you select everything, if you want to move it, okay, you, you, you might think that you, you can just move it, but you, you will just break the selection and move a specific part. That's an annoying thing. And uh, I have uh, spent a little bit of time to work it out. Uh, so you have to, you know, hold control and select everything. And if you want to move all things together, you have to hold a shift. Okay, so I'm holding a shift. I click and I can move things. Okay, so that's brilliant. So for example, I want to uh, move approximately here. I can do that. Okay, a little bit practiced. Uh, so for example, if you want to move this backward a little bit, uh, remember control. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I accidentally zoom in. Remember control, and then you can select. Uh, I think it's like a two finger select. A three finger, sorry. I'm using a touch pad, so yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Out of what move, holding shift, okay, and you, uh, yeah, click and drag. So, yeah, so far so good. And then, if you think that, well, this is uh, still not so organized right now, so what I'm going to do is to make all this a group. So, there are multiple ways of doing this, uh, so I'm going to just to show you the way that I'm using. So, first, of course, you can just right-click and you can add a group. Okay, really simple one. And uh, then, you can, the group is a really, really interesting thing. Okay, so uh, I'm going to like a decent, uh, uh, undo the group. You can add group, and if you group, like, like touch any of the node, it will like stick to the node. So, what I'm going to do is to make it like a touch right here and then you um you, you you move the pointer to the title part of the group and you move the group and you sort of like a stick like like a really sticky um mat or something like that you will stick to the node and you will drag the node and move the node around okay so what i'm going to do right now is to um make this group um sort of like encompassed or of the uh, node here. So what I'm going to do, let me just undo this, is to double click and drag and try to make it cover everything. Okay. And of course, you can uh, you know, just use this, um, um, you know, fit group to nodes. Okay. So you can automatically adjust, uh, but I prefer to click and drag so I can see what things um, are doing and then fine tune it or, 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 or doing the automation. Okay, and then you can just uh, click and drag and move the whole group together. Okay, and of course, uh, you can make another group. Of course, uh, before we actually move another group, we can, uh, I believe, we can right click and add a group and we can change the title. So there will be the group one uh, and uh, there will be like unchanged. So the original. Uh, original one and of course we can we can change some of the notes here and make another group and of course we can we can we can change the color as well so let, let, let's quickly practice this by uh you know uh quickly yeah just just touch the group uh, touch note will um uh you know include the node into a group okay so right click add a group and i'm going to change the title to group two and there will be like a uh, modified something like that, like mod one, okay, group two, mod one, doesn't really matter. Uh, and of course, uh, I prefer to change the color because it's like more, um, you know, uh, visually, uh, you know, appealing and visually, uh, like a differentiate between different uh, group, okay. So that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is to go down here, of course, you can add another group. Uh, and uh, I believe there is also another way, okay, so what I'm going to do is just select all things, I think, and then right click, I believe we can um, move everything into a group, so um, convert to group node, and uh, uh, enter group name, so group 3, okay, so it will be a group node, um, this, um, you know, this sort of uh, treat everything um, into a node so you can like plug this into uh different nodes uh it's, it's a way of doing things i uh, just want to show you it's, it's doable of course but i prefer to like expand things because it can give you more information but if you're like working on like a really really big workflow i, I personally i prefer to like make the uh, workflow like more 
I, I don't know, make make maybe more chunky. So bite size workflow, a uh, multiple workflow input and outputs and connect it together because I uh, experiment a lot. So yeah. And of course, uh, there is uh, like a better way of doing things. So holding shift, click just to select everything. Okay. So click, 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 click. Yeah. By the way, sometimes you can't find the uh, the option that you want because you are inside. Okay. You sometimes need to get outside. I right click. I uh, got add group for selecting nodes. Okay. Voila. We got another group so basically right now we got like three groups and we can uh, not double click right click and add a group and we can change the title and uh, hopefully i can change it to some group three and uh say mod two something like that okay and of course you can change the color just to make it more colorful more more visually appealing uh, i'm going to choose uh purple right so we got three groups and the interesting and most useful thing about using group is that you can have uh, multiple similar um, uh, or you just experiment a little bit um, workflow um, together and um, right now if you just uh, click uh, it will uh, let me just uh, show you okay so if you if you right click okay you guys can see you got this actually running and uh, you got running here okay and uh, the uh, final generation should appear and it's save image here but sometimes you don't want that sometimes you may want you know test the different say for example you, you change a, a group uh, some settings here you don't want this to run you just want to test the results here uh, you can disable um, the rest of the group okay as you can see uh, the group is already working here okay so we've got like group three working Okay, I believe. Yeah, group three. Yeah, I think it's uh why is there like a floating? <laughs> okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so uh so for example you don't want some parts um um to work really really simple, you can disable it. Okay, right click and you can buy pass group nodes. Okay, so this node will not be at uh, this group and all the those inside the group will not be run and you can say here and bypass uh, group nodes and of course you, you can even like uh, set it to never okay set it to never so we never run this okay set to never and then if you run this again uh, the node should like, uh, only work here okay so running case sampler yeah case sampler um, Okay, so the case sampler uh, works here. And uh, the, the second group as well, the third group will not um, actually run. And uh, I don't know what is going on here. Um, okay, so like the group or something like that? Workflow, yeah, it's a workflow group three. So maybe I did not attach this to, to, to here. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so. As you can see, only these um, workflows actually working under this group. Okay, yeah, you got an idea. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it, about the movements of different nodes uh, and how to select multiple nodes, move multiple nodes, uh, group them all together, change the group, change the title, change the color, move the group and the bypass group, and uh, just ignore the group altogether, something like that. Okay, uh, I hope it's um, helpful. Please give me a thumb up. And if you want to see more of my video, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks. Bye.